Every year at Thanksgiving, human beings engage in a very bizarre rite of celebration, where we ritually sacrifice untold thousands of enslaved turkeys and then eat their corpses at the dinner table. So this year what I thought I would do is I thought I would go and pay a visit to a vegan activism group in Toronto, it goes by the name of New Wave Activism, and every week they demonstrate outside of the slaughterhouse to try and raise awareness of veganism to the truck drivers that are pulling into the slaughterhouse and of course for the traffic passing through. Okay, I'm here with Sabrina today and Sabrina, I'm just going to ask you um, what is it that uh, we're doing here? What is the movement? And can you just tell us about it? Give us some information about uh, yeah, what's happening here today. Yeah, so basically New Wave started about two years ago um, with the main purpose to stop trucks every week um, regardless of any other conditions with the main purpose to really make a point to the industry while we also bear witness a little more effectively. So the goal was to stop trucks and even with Bill 156 passing, um, our goal is to raise awareness the most effective ways possible. So we're still um, trying to do that any way we can here at the corner of Harvester and Appleby. And uh, yeah, still trying to get time legally within the law without breaking the bill laws, right. um, still getting time with the animals here, getting them to kind of give us just a few minutes and showing them that regardless of these bills and these tactics they're going to try to put through, it's not going to kind of, it's not going to slow us down, it's not going to stop us. And what's, uh, where exactly are we right now? We're in Burlington right now. Yeah. Um, this is like Applebee and Harvester, so right here they kill 10,000 pigs every day, Monday to Friday. 10,000? Um, a lot of it really gets exported. Yeah. And they use gas chambers as the stunning method, so that doesn't kill the animals. They actually still get stabbed in the throat after, right. but it knocks them unconscious. Um, but just barely. Even then, there's no one, you know, there's no one making sure they're actually unconscious before they get strung up and stabbed. Yeah. Um, and all these pictures that are on the signs that we made here for New Wave. Um, I took them here, so they're very relatable photos reminding people of the actual victims that are being killed here in Burlington. Um, and it's really important not only to be there for the animals, spend that time, like have that connection with them and love, but take footage so that we can share it on a wider scale. Photos like this make an impact to people all over the world. We're so lucky to have social media, so we need to equally use the power of love and social media to spread the uh, the information we have and spread the truth yeah. and again yeah raising awareness that this is a slaughterhouse right a lot of people drive by here every day and uh, it doesn't look like a slaughterhouse on the outside it looks just like a regular factory or like a regular warehouse so never letting people forget what happens behind these walls right. Um, right. those are kind of the goals yeah and with it being Thanksgiving this weekend uh, I know we have this cultural thing where we feel the need to kill turkeys <laughs> in a kind of a yeah. ritual sacrifice for, yeah. for the weekend I mean uh, so I, I, I agree with you I think this is really important uh, my family had ham too we were the type yeah we would have ham yeah. turkey yeah. A little bacon in the morning, like oh, there's yeah. just such a, you know, yeah, yeah. it's so sad that like holidays are so closely related to animal consumption. And, yeah, and I, I think the the worst part of it is that it's just completely unnecessary. I mean, so much, so many of us have been vegan for a long, long time, and yeah. we know it's absolutely unnecessary, and that's what really kills me. But yeah, oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, that's good. No, no, it's all about you. Yeah, it's all about you. You know, this is the place that I need to be. Yeah. It doesn't matter that it's cold. It doesn't matter that it's a holiday. This is the place I need to be. So what we're doing to these sentient beings is ridiculous and generations to come are gonna look back on us as, as we look back on people who kept slaves and, and people who you know, refused to let women vote or even speak up about things. Smoking was commonly accepted back then and now all of a sudden everyone recognizes it as generally unhealthy, generally a bad habit. And I think this is going to be the same thing. It's just going to be a bad habit that we look back on and realize that, yeah, we were we were fools. <laughs> so hopefully it changes. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks yeah. for being here. Thank you. Now, lastly, I just want to do a, just a very quick natural intuition experiment here. What we have here is some leftover turkey from last night. That's what it looks like. 
Okay, and over here we've got some just as leftover fruit, raw fruit from the same meal. Leftover rotting carcass. Leftover fruit. Fermenting fruit, I should say. Okay, leftover carcass. Leftover fruit. Now, I don't really even want to say anything. I just want you to look and observe these two pieces of equally leftover food. And I just want you to, to look and see what your, what natural human intuition tells you about which one seems to be more life-sustaining. Which, which one seems to be the healthier option? I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to describe anything to you. I don't want to tell you what to think. I don't care what your diet is. I just want you to look at these two things. And with your, with your natural intuition, what do you think is more sustaining, health sustaining, vitality promoting? Think about it.